from Yerba Mate, not a sponsored um, advertisement yet. I got my Dungeons and Doggos shirt, and we're just gonna go ahead and paint today. We're gonna be painting the manticore, the lion with a man's face on it, with a spiky tail and dragonish wings that looks so freaking cool. This is probably one of my favorite miniatures just because how detailed it looks. I keep going out of frame. Let me let me see if I can do this. Maybe that helps a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the base coat, which is gonna be like a darker color. And then from there, we're gonna raise it up. I have these colors that I think, oh geez. So we have some browns, a red. I don't even have like a damper red. Um, So this is the best red I have. And that's the best thing you could do is work with what you have because not everything in life you have. And that's not about, you know, what makes you happy. It's what, what you have and how you enjoy it. Let's just get painting. Oh shoot, my Crest White strips. We gotta open our wet palette. Let's uh, then we're gonna go ahead and drop our paints in. Take a sip. White and black. White and black is a hue, not a color. As I said before, I'm not a paid professional yet. I don't know if I, I, I want to be yet. It's still something I'm trying to figure out. I forgot what the term is used. When you prime it this way, you use the black from above or wherever your lighting source is, you paint downward um, with white. So it kind of highlights where you, where it's gonna be lighter. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start mixing my red. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of red. I'm gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. It's kind of what I was going on. Not really, but I'm gonna use that. We're just gonna go ahead and start painting this thigh. Oh, that is what I wanted, sick. Even strokes everywhere around. Oh yeah, I'm so happy this came out. Yeah, okay, cool. Usually I have music playing, or I have like Critical Role, or Dimension 20. Recently I've been into Dungeons and Daddies. Highly recommend it. If it's a podcast, if you're driving a lot, it's perfect. Ooh, the butt. This is me time. Some people wanted this. Not really. Just doing the base coat the line I don't really like that might just leave it though and I just went ahead and did a lighter coat for the top of the wings and then I'm gonna do a darker one for the what do you call it the darker shade for the underneath to give it that desired effect I'm just gonna go again paint over this one I didn't realize how hard it is to film and paint at the same time I almost feel stressed Ugh. That's all it is, honestly. It, it then it comes out like this. Yeah, I'm so proud of this one. Uh, it's weird. I, I'm so proud of that. It's weird. The shading, it looks really choppy, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah. So the eyes, the, I put a little red dot to make it look a little more menacing. Pearly white teeth because he uses the crest white strips. Uh, pink insides. It's really sloppy on the inside, but no one really cares. Then I tried using the, the lighter tones right here, and then I left the darker tones out bare brown. And then the spikes, I'm super proud. I like the, I like the, I used the, blah, 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 blah. I'll bear, uh, I'll bear brown for the back of the tail. And then I used some of the um, goblin skin for the spikes and highlighted it with some white, almost like as if it was shooting at you, shooting out at you, like, so you could feel the effect. His um, wings, oh my gosh, his wings. I'm actually kind of proud of that too. Like a tongue yellow, or ugh, tongue pink. And yeah, I'm so proud of this one. It's pretty sick, yeah.
So that was it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and share it. If anything, if you guys are interested in more of these types of uh, random, very fast paced videos that don't teach you anything about painting, but you know, if you like the sound of my voice, if you want me to do some ASMR or something while I'm painting, I could do that. You know, I could be the next um, Bob Ross. But yeah, thanks for watching.